I'd had a time in my life when I went through a year of progressively intense chemotherapy, right? Mm -hmm. And all kinds of burdens there. Mm -hmm. But I felt like I'm done. I made it. I was clear on the scan. The next year was really hard getting used to how do I live my normal life again with a different body than I used to have, wow. right? And one of the things that I ended up finding there and going to a counselor <laughs> to say, help me here, mm -hmm. was I didn't have always the most functional strategies mm -hmm. for how do I deal with things. Well, physically, I couldn't sustain it anymore, right? And I'd be just kind of burning myself out all the time really quickly. And and frustrated, but it was hard not to just do that again. <laughs> yeah. When the scriptures in this story talk about they didn't even realize the situation they were in and that they couldn't get themselves out of it, that's what that is. And I, I see sometimes with this within their story that they are just going to their default mm -hmm. is fight back. And there's not that uh, reliance or that humility, the faith that Alma is teaching his people to where they can focus when they are dealing with a burden. There's not until there is, <laughs> okay. until there is, because you said humility in verse 14, chapter 21, verse 14, mm -hmm. after in verse 13, they've been driven to and fro, they've been burdened according to the desires of their enemies. Mm -hmm. They're just so trapped and they did humble themselves even in the depths of humility and they did cry mightily to God. Yea, even all the day long did they cry unto their God that he would deliver them out of their, their afflictions. And it does say in verse 15, now the Lord was slow to hear their cry. They'd never been real quick to listen to him <laughs> because of their iniquities. Nevertheless, the Lord did hear their cries. Mm -hmm. He was always listening and began to soften the hearts of the Lamanites mm -hmm. that they began to ease their burdens. So I think it's so interesting. It, the next phrase is, yet the Lord did not see fit to deliver them out of bondage. That'll come. Mm -hmm. But he wants them to learn first how to bear it. And deliverance came at first from their enemies. Yeah, now that they're not fighting back, now that the Lamanites can see that they're not resenting and looking, what, wow. why are you making me do this? They start to pull back a little bit, right? Because there's just a different dynamic and attitude, a new technique mm -hmm makes a difference that repeating the old one never would. Yeah. So many times we, we run into that in relationships, in, in work, in school. Children run into this where you just get into the habit of here is how I respond to people and you don't stop to think maybe this isn't working. Maybe an yeah. angry response is actually making my life harder. Not that you deserve what you're getting from them, but you're not creating an environment where you're going to get a soft response it can take a mind shift to get to that. 